This is Akashavani Mangaluru, dear listeners. In today's Talk in English program now, we will bring to you a talk, Light Pollution, by Dr. Krishna Prabhayam, Associate Professor, Department of Physics, Dr. P. Dayananda Pai, P. Satish Pai, Government First Aid College, Car Street, Mangaluru. Light Pollution These words may sound strange for few of us, but all of us are aware of the different types of pollutions happening in environment their causes and effects the air we breathe the water we use the soil where we live are polluted the atmosphere we live is filled with noise and radiation pollution in addition to these pollutions our environment is affected with light pollution too several questions arise then like what is meant by light pollution are we causing the light pollution if s yes, then definitely we should know how do we cause light pollution are we aware of the light pollution if s yes, then we need to take measures to control light pollution before explaining about light pollution i would like to share a thought my memory goes back to my childhood spent in a village watching dark night sky filled with innumerable number of stars was a pleasure always used to get so many questions regarding the number of stars present in the sky and always used to wonder how distant these stars are from earth study of science has given me answers to few of these questions but these days in the city of mangalore itself i am not able to see dark night sky why the answer is obvious each and every street is lit with street lights mainly for safety purposes the sky is glowing at night and i am not able to see clear sky filled with stars the sky will be dark only if there is a total power failure which is ruled out possibility these days sunlight is responsible for the development of all living life forms on earth our ancestors followed a system where they considered 12 hours of light as day and 12 hours of darkness as night the micro world and the daily rhythms of plants and animals are strongly regulated by the light dark rhythm human beings have followed this pattern for thousands of years however there were efforts to prolong daytime and reduce nighttime duration but there were limited lighting sources as a result of several new inventions in science and technology there is tremendous change in the living style of people all over the world the invention of electric light bulbs no doubt one of the greatest human inventions of all time changed the scenario electric light is a beautiful thing guiding us home when the sun goes down keeping us safe and making our homes cozy and bright due to change lifestyle these days the normal pattern of 12 hour day and 12 hour darkness in ecosystem is being changed one can be active at night and he can rest during day time people engage in various activities in late evening till early mornings like shift duties day and night matches flood lit festivals 24 hour active airports railway stations bus stands etc to turn night into day environment lot of artificial lightings are used at night few examples are boats ships aeroplanes well lit buildings offices factories neon boards outdoor advertising street lights and even fireworks no doubt that artificial lighting used at night has provided the world with visibility safety road safety and more importantly prevention of crime at the same time artificial lighting at night is a main culprit responsible for light pollution thus light pollution refers to the excessive enormous and unnecessary use of artificial light that alters the normal patterns of light and dark in ecosystem this contributes to light pollution 
many cities never sleep it means the cities are active during both day and night for example cities like mumbai and new york are known as the cities that never sleep there are several forms of light pollution like sky glow light trespass glare over illumination and light clutter night skies of many cities and metropolitan cities are having an orange pink glow and is known as sky glow it results due to upward directed light emanating from poorly designed lamps and security flood lights when the wasted light is scattered and reflected by solid or liquid particles say water droplets and the light is returned to the eyes of the people on the ground people on the earth cannot have the clear view of the sky the reduction in night sky affects professional and amateur astronomers as well as casual observers of the night sky because it severely reduces the visibility of stars and other celestial objects light trespass this happens when light from a flood light or street lamp spills over into another area where it is not wanted or needed when the light passes over the predetermined range it is known as light trespass or spill over for instance when undesirable light pervades someone's house or building this can be a major daily hassle causing chronic issues of sleep deprivation and insomnia when light enters through a window glare this is the bright light that gets into your eyes and causes discomfort glare happens in the cases of car headlights and street lights that can be dangerous for pedestrians because when bright lights are flashed directly to the face it almost blinds one and may lead to vision impairments as well the excessive use of light well beyond the need for security lighting or light needed for a specific activity is referred to as over illumination the use of light where it is not needed such as lights left on overnight in an empty office building decorative lights during festival seasons used in many places both indoors and outdoors and also the lights on when no people are present cause over illumination excessive groupings of lights that are bright and confusing are referred to as light clutter this is commonly found in overlit cities improper lighting arrangements and areas which are highly populated the rapid increase of light clutter also causes sky glow light trespass flare over illumination such groupings of lights can cause confusion leading to many accidents the quantity of light pollution from a given area depends on the number and brightness of light sources on the ground the fraction of light that escapes above the horizontal the reflectivity of surfaces near the light sources and the prevailing atmospheric conditions light pollution causes adverse effects on the environment lifestyle wildlife astronomy etc light pollution can interfere with migration hunting feeding reproduction hatching etc birds prefer night time for migration because of the presence of artificial light birds get confused during migration the nocturnal animals find less time to find shelter food and their mates due to light pollution people suffer from insomnia that is sleeplessness this is the situation we realize but there are other hidden implications which we cannot see but feel exposure of artificial light at night suppresses the secretion of hormone called melatonin melatonin is a hormone associated with sleep the melatonin hormone also affects daily metabolism cardiovascular function cognition and memory 
Melatonin is a powerful antioxidant. It enhances and regulates proper functioning of body's immune system. Change in the secretion level of melatonin can lead to sleep disorders and other health problems such as increased headaches, worker fatigue, medically defined stress, some forms of obesity due to lack of sleep and increased anxiety. The circadian rhythm is altered. Circadian rhythm of living organisms consists of inner biological clock which decides mainly the sleep and wake up behavior. The circadian rhythm controls some species of animals, insects, birds which are most active at night. This alteration is known as chronodisruption and is associated with the numerous diseases. These days, LEDs are preferred as they are efficient, but studies have shown that constant exposure to LEDs, especially the LEDs emitting blue light, can cause damage to retina and can contribute to cataracts, eye cancer and growths on the clear covering over the white part of the eye. Light pollution is a silent sea turtle killer. Studies conducted in US and Australia have revealed the effect of light pollution near the coastal regions that affects the coral reefs and sea turtle. Sea turtle hatchlings lead to a considerable decline near the beaches. How? Female turtle finds difficult to find a suitable place for nesting as if referred to nest on naturally dark beaches. After hatching, baby turtles immediately crawl towards brightest light which in natural landscapes is the ocean. Artificial light confuses hatchlings causing them to crawl in circles, travel away from the ocean or to swim away from deep water. Confused hatchlings are more likely to die due to predation, exhaustion or vehicle strike. Light pollution as a threat to insects. Insects are sensitive to increasing artificial light usage during the night. Moths, butterflies and other insects have also declined over the past years. When an electric bulb is on, we see that insects are attracted towards the light and due to the heat of the electric bulb, these insects die. If electric bulbs were not switched on, these insects would not have been attracted towards the bulb. Clearly, this is an indication of light pollution. Light pollution as a threat to pollination and hence the crop yields. Yes, there are some flowers which bloom during night and the pollination has to take place with the help of nocturnal insects. Light pollution may result in mass extinction of pollinators and other nocturnal insects. There also has been a drastic decline in pollination in plant species worldwide due to lighting used at night that has led to negative repercussions in their reproductive system and hence resulting in an ecological imbalance. Studies have shown that there is decline in the number of light sensitive insects in regions with the high levels of light pollution. Further, the experimental studies were conducted on the nocturnal insects that do pollination during night. For the study purpose, around 60 plant species were grown separately in lands without and with artificial lights. The results showed that the percentage of nocturnal pollination was found 62% less in the area with artificial lights than the area without artificial lights. Light is essential for the plants for photosynthesis but due to excess of light, flora is also being affected. The reduced number of dark hours bring about changes in the photosynthesis process that is extensively vital for 
survival of plants light pollution as an alarm light pollution is a global issue this became glaringly obvious when the world atlas of night sky brightness a computer generated map based on thousands of satellite photos was published in the year 2016 available online for viewing the atlas shows how and where our globe is lit up at night vast areas of north america europe the middle east and asia are glowing with light while only the most remote regions on earth like siberia the sahara and the amazon are in total darkness some of the most light polluted countries in the world are singapore qatar and kuwait it is the responsibility of human beings to bring back the natural sky that is dark sky several organizations are working to reduce light pollution one of this is the us based international dark sky association ida formed in 1988 to preserve the natural night sky international dark sky association educates the public and certifies parks and other places that have worked to reduce their light emissions few things we can contribute in reducing light pollution are minimize the lights switch off the unnecessary lights stop wasting energy reduce the use of decorative lighting have a control on outdoor lighting outdoor lightings are to be used only where it is needed outdoor lights need to be shielded light from lamp shouldn't be directed up into the sky use glare free bulbs install low hanging bulbs use of well designed light fixtures with modern optical controls like radar and micro sensing to direct the light downward when a particular area is to be illuminated minimum amount of wattage to be used advanced technology such as dynamic lighting can be followed to keep lights on only when required and keep lighting at minimum levels when not needed in addition to this national and local government agencies should enforce appropriate light control laws and ordinances it is every citizen's duty to prevent light pollution and also to educate family and friends regarding light pollution and this will definitely lead to a good result dear listeners you have just heard dr krishna prabhayam speaking on the topic light pollution this talk came to you from the studios of akashavani mangaluru